Okay, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on thresholding using OpenCV. This is being done on a Raspberry Pi. We're going to get started by making the C++ file. So it's we're going to call it a thresh.cpp. First thing we're going to do is start uh, getting in what we're going to include. So the first is going to be OpenCV2 image processing image processing dot HPP the next is going to be the high GUI so we've got open CV2 high GUI high GUI dot HPP then we've got the standard library And then we've got the standard I.O. Now we're going to be using namespace standard using namespace CV. We're going to start declaring the integers. So the first is thresh value. We'll just initially set it to zero. The next is the threshold type, and I guess we'll just initially set that to zero also. So the threshold value is what is going to control at what point the thresholding is taking place. This will be between 0 and 255. The threshold type is going to be an integer between 0 and 4. And we want to be careful to limit it to 4 or the program is going to fail, so we're going to declare a constant integer of max type and we'll set that to 4. We also want to create this character otherwise the command would get pretty unwieldy here to type this all at the same spot so we're gonna say that the type of the thresholding we've got a few choices well several so we've got binary we've got inverted binary when the value is 1 inverted binary next is going to be what truncated so we're going to have truncate value of 3 is going to correspond with to 0 and a value of 4 is inverted to 0 we need to declare the images so we've got source gray and destination whenever these track bars update it needs to happen somewhere we're going to be doing that in this thresh tutorial basically all it needs to do is redo the threshold so it's taken the gray image putting it into destination we've got the threshold value the maximum of which is 255 and then the thresh type and then we're just showing the image again and we can just call the the window a I guess it doesn't matter so that's it for now now we're ready for int main So first we're going to bring in the source image. We're going to do an imread and for my example we're going to be using fruit.jpg. You can use whatever file you want. Just make sure it's in the same directory. We're going to immediately convert the color of the source image. We're going to bring it into the gray image. The gray image is the current destination and the color that we're going to use is RGB to gray. We're going to make the named window. We'll just call it A. And we're going to do an auto resize. Now we're going to create our track bars. 
these are what the user is going to be manipulating. So we're first going to be creating this track bar. And let's go with, um, let's just name it value. That's easy enough. It's going to go in the A window. And the value it's going to be controlling is the thresh value. The maximum value for thresh value is 255. And then it's going to be doing this in thresh tutorial. And then we've got the other track bar. And this one, the, the name was too long. And oops, I need to declare it. So this will be track bar value. Track bar value. It's going to be in the A window. This is going to be changing the threshold type and the maximum. Now here we could say four, but we're just going to say max type. And this is going to happen in Thresh Tutorial. This is going to execute the Thresh Tutorial portion of the code. This is where the actual thresholding is going to happen. And then it's just going to wait um, for a key press or for the track bars to update. So we're going to have an int C and we will set it equal to wait key of say uh, 10 and the only reason we're doing this is to check to see if the user hits escape. We want them to have a way out of the program. And the ASCII value is 27 for escape. And if they hit that, it's just going to break. That's going to break out of the loop. And theoretically, we should have a working code here. So we're going to go ahead and close out, save it, and now I need to compile. So now it's time to compile. And so we're going to be naming this Thresh. And we're using Thresh.cpp. Let's see if there are any typos. Seems to have worked. So now let's see how it runs. There we go. And so you can see that you've got the binary. Currently, we're using binary. If we switch this, it goes to inverted binary. All it's doing is inverting the, the black and white. We can go to truncate. And you can see that each of these are changing it differently. We can go to 2-0. So for example, the first thing it's going to change is whatever this lettuce stuff is because it's darker and the last to go to zero is probably going to be say the edge of the orange I assume it is it's in black and white so it's hard to tell and you can see that edge of the orange is starting to go out and then we can invert the two zero and so here it's actually getting rid of the orange first so it's starting up at 255 and then you're going down and let's find approximately the value, the brightness of the edge of the orange is about, you know, 120 or so is where that's starting to go out. And then we can find, let's say we want to find the brightness of this chunk of this lettuce. We can slowly go down and it's around, say here, about 45 to 50. Something like that is where this really starts to disappear. All right, I hope this was helpful. This was a pretty simple tutorial. I'm going to have more of these coming up, so check it out. Thanks a lot.